do you know you could get a hotel booking link for free? Yeah, free. So what are you waiting on? Google My Business is one of the largest online booking listings there is available. If you're not already there, you're possibly losing out on money. My name is Joshua from Hospitality Tools and I want to show you in this video why you need to be on Google My Business, especially as a hotel listing and how simple it is for you to set it up. So let me show you how this works. So if you're on Google and you go and type hotels near me, what you will see is a list of hotels in your area. Now you'll notice this is slightly different to the normal listings of website. In this area here is the Google My Business sections for hotels. It gives you the option to search by your budget options, things like free cancellations, and even includes a time for you to search. But what you should be interested in is ensuring that you are listed in this particular area you could see by cost as well. So for example, if I click on this one, it gives me a listing of all the different guest houses and hotels, as well as the cost that they may be renting at. So if I choose, for example, Starfish Tobago, from here, I could actually go and visit the website. They have an advertising on booking.com. You could see the different prices. You could see their rating. You could click to go to their website. They have directions and you could share this information. This is a great way of getting organic visits to your website. The great thing about this, even if you don't have your own website, Google gives you the option to create a free website as well. But there's no reason why you shouldn't have your own website to get your direct bookings. If you don't already have your own booking website, I'm going to put a link in the description using mostly free tools, how you could create a hotel booking website from scratch. But let's jump into how you could create your Google My Business for your hotel. All right. So if we go back to Google and we could type Google My Business. So we'll select the first one, Google My Business. From this window, if you already have your business, you could sign up. But in our case, we don't have one and we're going to create one. Now, this is not an actual property, so I'm going to remove this after. But let's create a new list. We'll either click Manage Now here or to the top right hand corner. We could choose Manage Now. Let's type the name of our listing. I'm going to call this Island Staycation and I'm just going to choose Create a Business with this name. It's going to ask you for the business category. Here is where you're going to choose Hotel and we'll choose Next. Here it's asked you, do you want to add a location for the customers to visit? Now, if it's a hotel, if you try to go forward with no, it won't allow you. So let's choose yes, and we'll click next. Let's choose your address. I'm in Tobago, so I'm going to choose Trinidad and Tobago. I'm going to enter a street address in my area and choose next. It's going to suggest some property just to make sure it's none of these properties. If you're already listed, then you should select it. But in this case, I'm going to choose none of these and choose next. Here is going to ask you where you're located. So what you'd want to do is zoom in on your map, try to find your specific location. Since this is not an actual property, I'm just going to select it as is and choose next. Now, if you want to serve customers outside of this location, maybe you are another location or so forth, you will select that. But in my case, I'll choose no, I don't. And I'll choose next. You'll enter a phone number and your website. Again, if you don't have a website, Google gives you an option to create a free website as well. So I'm going to enter a contact number and my website for this domain. It's actually a demo website that I use. Once you've entered the information, choose next. If you like to get updates from Google, you could simply choose yes or no. I'm going to choose yes and click next. So here's where you'd enter your name for Google to send you a postcard that it will be using to verify your actual location. It needs to make sure that you are a legitimate business. In my case, I'm going to choose other option and I will say verify later. You will then enter your business hours here. I'm going to skip this for now. Do you want to accept messages? A great way to get real authority and engagement is accepting messages online. So persons may be able to message you through the map app or you could download the Google My Business app and be very responsive with your guests. So I would recommend that you accept messages, but ensure that you can respond. If not, you could just skip this option. 
So here is where you would start entering photos and photography is a huge part of Google My Business. You want to make sure you take professional photos that represent your property in a very good way. Guests are going to make their decision by the photos they see along with the other things. But surely photography is a great part of your search engine optimization. So, so take the time to upload some photos that's going to represent your property well. I'm going to skip this for now. As in everything, Google is an advertising company, so they will offer you an opportunity to advertise your property. But for now, what we're really interested in is ensuring that we're listed and persons could find us in the regular search. So I'm going to skip this for now. So that's about it. Let's click continue and we're going to choose get started. Again, a very important part of what you need to do is just make sure that you verify the property. The, that section is very important because once you verify the property, you will have the option to set things like your amenities and services and so forth. Now, in relation to the prices, there are two things you want to consider. I'm going to put a link to this in the description, but here is a walkthrough of things that you need to consider to get your prices listed. Before this used to be a paid option for customers that are using Google advertising, but right now you could list your pricing for free. But there's two things that you may need to do. If you scroll down in this list, you'll notice to get started or to show your rates. Number one, you could either use one of Google's partners and there's a listing of the Google's partners here, and I will include this in the description as well. You could review the list of Google partners. If you're using any one of these partners, you will be able to have your prices listed for free on the Google My Business listing page. The other option you have is by signing up on this page and letting Google know that you are interested in getting a free booking links and where you may want to update that manually. However, the quickest way to have that done is by connecting to one of their partners. I will also connect this in the description. Let me give you a quick tour of one of the properties that I manage and what their Google My Business backend looks like. In the backend, if you go to info, you will see options where you could update things like your contact information, your website, your services, all your hotel attributes or so forth. So for example, if I go to hotel attributes, I could click the change button. So here you could indicate things like your health and safety protocols. If you have internet, do you serve food or drinks? Do you have a pool? If you have a pool, is it an adult pool? Things like parking or so forth. Let's go back. You could also go to insights. So here you'll see where you're getting most of your views from. Is it some direct search? Are you being discovered from some other category or product or service? Or is it related to some brand of your business? You could come to reviews and check the reviews you're getting for your property. It's very important that you respond to your reviews, especially if it is a negative review. I believe that even your negative reviews, you have an opportunity to answer a question that someone might have had. But especially if you've solved that problem, here is a great place to tell persons that you know, this issue is actually being resolved. So if this is a problem that another guest have and you've solved that problem, it's a great opportunity to let them know that this is no longer an issue. The last thing I want to look at is the fact that Google offers you a free website. So if you don't have a website, it will give you a very simple website where you could lay out things like your property, a nice gallery of your photos, your location, and an opportunity for persons to contact you, get your directions and so forth. Hopefully that was useful to you. If you missed anything, I will leave links in the description of this video. So if you don't have your hotel listed on Google My Business, now is the best time to get started. If you don't want to miss more videos like this where I'm going to be sharing hospitality tips to help you rank higher on Google and earn more bookings, then you got to like, subscribe and click that notification bell. So when I post more videos like this, you'll be notified. I'll see you in the next one.